tau overflows existence is flux nothing is here forever everything is moving and changing at a fast pace existence is river like it cannot stop for you just for you so that you remain depressed forever or happy forever it is moving it has already moved if you look at your depression at your happiness at anything else which is opposite to the other not the transcendence happiness or bliss one that you know as against depression as against sadness and one is beyond the duality of sorrow and suffering beyond sadness and happiness that remains you will feel that even your depression is not the same next moment you are depressed so remain with it wait and watch you allow the the river to flow and settle in due course all that is floating on the surface will settle you cannot be depressed for long because in the world nothing is permanent this world is a flux this world cannot change its basic law for you so that you can remain depressed forever feel depression taste it deeply live it it is your fate then suddenly you will feel it has disappeared because the man who can accept even depression cannot remain depressed this is the law existential law even depression can even a man who accept depression cannot re remain depressed a man a mind who can accept even depression cannot remain depressed depression needs a non accepting mind this is not good that is not good this should be and that should not be this must not be like this everything is denied rejected not accepted no is basic even happiness will be rejected by such a mind such a mind will find something to reject in happiness as well mind thinks as meditation goes deep one feels very happy but at the same time he is suspicious to him this happiness must be illusory because he has never felt any happiness before what to talk about this level of happiness this must be a delusion even if happiness happens to a mind who has been always rejecting he will be doubtful about it he will feel that something has gone wrong he is happy so he will feel something has gone wrong just by meditating for a few days this is not possible a non accepting mind will not accept anything but if you can accept your loneliness your depression your sadness you are transcending already acceptance with acceptance the process of transcendence begins acceptance is transcendence you have taken the very ground away and then because the depression sadness all these grow on a soil that is non accepting 
the moment you put the manure of acceptance a new process begins and that is the process of transcendence and then depression cannot stand there it is like you have used the fertilizer or pesticide or something to remove the infection or anything that is there try this whatsoever be your state of mind accept it and wait for when the state changes itself when the state changes itself you will know it you are not changing it then you can feel the beauty that comes when a state changes by itself you can know that it is just like the sun rising in the morning and then by evening it is start its process of start process of setting begins then again it will rise and again it will set and it will go on and on you need not do anything about it if you can feel your state of mind changing by itself you can remain indifferent you can remain away miles and miles away as if mind is going somewhere else the sun is rising and setting the depression is coming and happiness is coming and going but you are not in it it goes and comes by itself the states come and move if one begins to feel that life is a psychodrama a play and the world is a stage then one also feels depressed and lonely so feel it thus the intensity thus the intensity sincerely and depth of living is lost let it be lost because the sincerity and depth that can be lost was not real the real cannot be lost it was pseudo false and it is better that the false thing is lost how can a real depth be lost the very definition of the real depth is that it cannot be lost it is eternal no matter what you do if you can disturb a buddha then he is not a buddha whatsoever you do he remains undisturbed that unconditional state of non indulgence is the very buddha nature the unconditional state of non disturbance is buddha nature the real cannot be lost the real is always unconditional if i love you and i say don't be angry otherwise my love for you will be lost then the sooner such a love is lost the better if the love is real whatsoever you do makes no difference the love will remain unchanged and the, and only then does it have any worth only that love which does not change with the passage of time or because of any circumstance and situation that is real love that is what i want you to know it does not change with the passage of time it is then unseen but realized truth 
So if just by looking at the world as a psychodrama, your intensity is lost, then it is not worth preserving. It, is, it was false. That's why it was lost. Because it was really not an act in a drama or and you were thinking that it was real. So you felt it was deeper. Now you know it was just a drama. If it was just a drama and the sincerity is lost the sincerity too was false you were thinking it was real and it was not just by looking at life as a drama it disappeared it is just as if a rope was there lying in a dark room and you felt it was a snake but there was no snake it was the rope and it gives you the illusion because of the darkness because of ignorance that it was a snake now you come with a lamp and with the lamp the snake is lost the on and only the rope remains because your darkness, your unconsciousness was projecting a snake, the image of the snake on the rope and it was false. So the moment lamp of awareness came, the snake disappeared. That disappeared from the illusion because it was not there ever. And with the lamp, the snake is lost and only the rope remains. If with the lamp, the snake is lost, that means it was never there. It was just in your imagination. So too, all these states are ephemeral. They are there because of the darkness or absence of awareness, absence of understanding. The moment you realize that life is a flux, it is constantly changing, then you cannot remain in that state forever. Heraclitus says you cannot enter the same river twice. But to you the river is not a flux, it is a stationary. But indeed, river is a flux, life is flux, in existence everything is flux, constantly changing. And something which is constantly changing, you cannot, cannot remain the same next moment. Enough for now.